Hi, I'm Jim Gutman, a board certified endodontist from Dallas, Texas, and I have been practicing within the full scope of endodontics for over 40 years. One of the many challenges that we have faced during root canal procedures is the establishment of an initial pathway or glide path in the root canal. For years, we were relegated to using stainless steel K files, such as the one you see on this video. Note how the file, as it approaches the curve, begins to deviate from the center of the canal. No matter the size of the instrument, it would tend to cut into the soft, unmineralized predentin as it went around a curve or encountered an obstacle in the canal, such as a pulp stone or packed tissue, which creates an abnormal pathway. Oftentimes, this resulted in the loss of ideal working length, deviation, and creation of a ledge, as in this example, or even creating a root perforation. However, an even greater concern would be the failure to clean tissue from the apical portion of the canal, like we see here where the instrument has failed to reach the desired length. If this tissue were infected and contained established biofilms, a predictable failure would occur. As you can see, the need for a reliable means of creating a glide path all the way to the apex is essential.